Yo, 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 what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the State Nation with your boy State for the Apex Legends video. Now, I've come to you guys with a guide which was actually created by me for me, but I hope it really helps you guys out. I mean, I've had a huge problem with organizing my inventory in Apex Legends. I know if you guys watch my streams, for you guys who do, you would know that sometimes I'm carrying up to 500 rounds of light ammo. Yes, I'm that guy. I'm guilty. Sometimes I'm carrying like, you know, 16 med kits. It's absolutely ridiculous. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get my stuff in line. I've been really trying to implement it into game. And hopefully, once again, this helps you guys out. This helps you organize your bag. This helps you put yourself into the best situation possible so you have all the necessary and balanced amount of resources uh, like possible to um, win every gunfight so if you guys like today's video man drop a like on the video subscribe if you guys want to see more and i'm gonna get into this because i got a lot to talk about i'm actually pretty excited I, if you didn't know I'm, I'm ocd in real life so ocd in video games it, it's it's getting pushed onto it okay um <laughs> first up I want to talk about the whole process of organizing in apex legends because yes you can organize your own backpack you're actually given a ton of freedom you you can do anything you want with your backpack you're not forced to carry anything at any moment you can drop everything and go you know basically naked for the whole game but it starts much deeper than that it starts in the bags of others and knowing the layout of other people's bags is going to be key in knowing what to pick up first and all all the other things that come with organization so i'm first going to get into the looting process now now when you run up to someone else's bag and you open that bag you're going to be greeted with a lot of different things and sometimes you're going to have up to two to like well yeah two other people in the same bag unless you had enemies looting your same bag so when you hop in there you're gonna see the weapons category first scrolling on down you're gonna be greeted by your ammo then their gear then you're gonna see their attachments and then finally you're going to see their healing section so knowing this layout knowing where everything is located is gonna allow you to snatch up what you want to grab first before anybody else because you know exactly where it's located for example if you wanted an attachment you would know to go most of the way down not all the way down but most of the way down and then from there you can easily grab something way before anybody else so now that you guys know like the inventory side of things in other people's loot bags you know how it's organized this is once again going to help you and lead on into what you should be grabbing first me personally i know a lot of people say you should grab body shields first because body shields is yes instant heals body shield is you know kind of hard to come by you're not always going to find a better body shield nothing's worse than going into the final squad with a gray body shield but i personally recommend that you guys fly all the way down to the bottom of their looting screen and grab all the heals you can get your hands on okay getting med kits getting shield batteries cells or syringes is going to be essential to keeping yourself alive I would much rather hop into a body bag, grab as many heals as I can, bail out of there, heal, and then come back for whatever's left over. Next up on that list would probably be like ammunition for me because I cannot stand running out of ammo in gunfights. It's literally choking when it's not even necessary. Like it's, it's just you would be well equipped if you just had your ammunition. So get your heals, get ready, then come back and body shields. I mean, unless you're carrying like a purple like if you're carrying a purple body shield I've, I've seen many friends run in there trying to snatch the next best body shield or just replenish theirs for free and accidentally snatch up a gray and then someone takes their purple so unless you're like in the heat of gunfights and your teammates are in trouble and you need instant heals that's really the only time i recommend grabbing that body shield first so once again prioritize the heals but now i'm going to move on to the next part so now you guys know the layouts of bags you know what you should be kind of grabbing first you want to get those heels but now i want to talk about what are the different tiers of backpacks because ultimately there is a lot of different like amounts of things you can carry in this game and depending on the size of your backpack it's really going to dictate for me what i'm carrying in that bag at that very current time so first like starting it off we have our no backpack situation situation and if you have no backpack you're going to be restricted to simply eight weapon slots or eight inventory slots and then from there on and you move your way up to the common backpack you're going to get an additional two slots that's going to put you up to 10 if you get a rare the blue backpack that's going to put you up to 12 and then if you get an epic that's going to give you six additional slots okay and then ultimately our legendary backpacks or our gold tier backpacks those are going to be gold and it's the same as the 
epic backpack except for the fact that you get the granted bonus which is healing 50 percent faster so really awesome there if you guys can snatch a gold backpack definitely take that anytime over a purple backpack but uh, you're not always going to come across these things in a game it's a battle royale you're not guaranteed anything but once again this guide is to help you know what to carry and um, when you do come across it you know how to manage it properly so this has covered all the basics for you guys i feel like i've covered everything surrounding our inventory that you guys are going to need to know but now is when i'm going to dive into the specifics i'm going to get into your backpack now of each level and i'm going to break down the amounts and why i carry each type um of you know piece of inventory for specific reasons so getting into our no backpack scenario so once again you have eight inventory slots i'm going to be carrying um up to four packs of ammo so that's going to be like covering your entire top half of your inventory loadout and now you may ask in the start of a game why would you carry four packs of ammo I personally think that if you aren't carrying enough ammo and you're not ready for the next gunfight, regardless of your health like situation, you are guaranteed going to die because people will track you down for days in Apex Legends. So carrying four packs of ammo is going to set you up to my ultimate goal of carrying at a bare minimum 200 rounds of ammunition for each weapon you are currently holding. So two packs each is a great start. Moving on from there, I want to stress that you guys carry at a bare minimum two inventory slots for heals. This is going to be your med kits and your batteries. But as you guys know, med kits and batteries are kind of hard to come across um, start game. So if that is six syringes and six uh, shield cells, that should be more than enough to hold you over one to two gunfights when you could get out of your starting rounds or, you know, loot up someone else's bag and maybe snatch a med kit or a battery. And then lastly... I want to stress that you guys start carrying explosives so many people do not carry explosives whether it's flare grenades whether it's grenades or whether it's arc stars and all of them are fantastic pieces of weaponry like people overlook flare grenades people overlook grenades and like oh just arc stars but if you ca if you can carry a diverse variety of these grenades it'll take your game to the next level i know there's times where i'm healing and someone's blocking a doorway chuck a flare grenade on the ground sideways and it'll go right through the door so they have to back up so huge like huge endless possibilities for what you can do with your loadout once you start doing things right but that right there is going to do it for the the no backpack loadout so that's simply eight slots now moving on to the common backpack so it's going to be our gray backpack uh there isn't much upgrade ability here but luckily this is a very common backpack you guys are probably going to be able to find this one off the start of a game and avoid having to deal with the inventory restrictions of having no backpack altogether so there isn't much upgrade ability here you do have two additional slots like i said earlier and i prioritize this for an extra ammo slot and an extra healing slot our explodes are going to stay the same so essentially now you're going to carry five packs for ammo to carry into your next gunfight once again we're trying to reach 200 rounds for each weapon now if you guys are using the same ammo type for both weapons that's fantastic you get an extra slot but if you are using two different weapon types choose whatever weapon you like better or use better and make sure you have plentiful amounts for that gun because three packs is the standard for what we're trying to reach for um, each weapon you now have a standard for one of those guns now having that extra healing slot we now have three healing slots i said you guys should carry syringes or med kits or batteries or cells once again prioritize the med kits and the batteries first but what should you use in the third one i recommend that you guys use another shield like inventory spot use it for shields don't use it for heals because more than likely you're going to lose shields way before you lose your hp and um you know that's just going to be a lot more essential than having an extra med kit around and you don't even have to refill yourself so prioritize that for the shields make sure you fill up the extra ammo slot and then your explodes are still going to be sticking at a capacity of two so that's going to do it for our common backpack loadout but now next up luckily for this guide i'm giving you guys the rare backpack is pretty much the standard for what you're going to need for full upgrade ability in this setup okay like yes the legendary and the epic backpacks are going to be nice but you're not getting too much more out of it since we've already organized things so nicely in the previous forms of backpacks so in our rare backpack this is going to be our blue 
backpack okay things get pretty beefy up here you guys now are gonna have to prioritize six spots for ammo so you have uh, let's say three heavy ammo packets and three light ammo packets you're now at over 200 rounds for each weapon you're well stocked up you're prepared for anything and everything that's going to come your way in terms of gunfights in the game and then also taking a look at the healing section we now have four slots for our heals okay so i'm going to recommend that you guys carry two heals and then two shields so you guys can carry batteries and cells and then let's say med kits and syringes so you have plentiful amounts of heals for quick situations or for full recharge situations and then on top of that you have your two splodes so as you guys can see is a pretty beefy backpack setup you have everything you need you got tons of ammo tons of heals and you still have some explosives at your disposal now this we're going to like bump out of the rare backpack and show you guys how it like as you upgrade it doesn't get that much better in the uh, legendary and epic backpacks which is a good thing because you don't always find those our epic and legendary backpacks are going to be in the same skill because they're the same thing just the uh, legendary backpacks going to heal 50 percent faster but the only thing you're carrying extra in those backpacks now is extra splos you're gonna have two additional slots again and i prioritize those for grenades arc stars and flares because you've already taken care of all your business four like four slots for healing is going to be more than enough to keep you alive all your ammo is taken care of so now you can just load up on let's say two four six eight arc stars eight arc stars what is someone going to do to you if you're chucking eight arc stars at them nothing they are hauling their butt out to the next point of safety because you're a force to be reckoned with okay and you got the ammunition to back it up too so this just goes to show you guys um the rundown of all my backpacks i really do hope this helped you guys out and in terms of organization how i went about choosing everything how i went about um you know organizing it in its capacity so implement this into your game guys i truly do believe this will take your game to the next level it'll make things just much more organized much more refreshing almost. it really does feel re refreshing when you you know what's going on in your loadout and you have a goal you're trying to achieve every single time you upgrade so implement once again implement this into your game let me know down in the comment section below after this video uh what you guys think of this do you agree with the amounts i've chosen to implement into my backpacks if not do you guys uh need to prioritize heals more do you need to prioritize explodes more let me know so that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the Stay Nation if you guys want to see more from me. And I will see you guys in the next video tomorrow. You guys have a fantastic day. Adios, adios. Peace.